picked up this Dodge Neon. It's a 1998, um, and I only spent $1,500, guys. $1,500. I'm very happy right now, very excited. <laughs> um, I sold my Beetle just because uh, I wanted to get a four-door, seeing, obviously seeing that we got the baby. And uh, the cool thing about this car is it only has 84,000 original miles. So that's pretty cool. But um, I wanted to show you guys, we can do a little walk around. It's got brand new, essentially tires on it. You know, they're, they're in really, really, really good shape. Um, I was telling my wife that the interior is like awesome. Like Look at those that. seats are super retro. Like I was gonna install racing seats, but I am not not too sure now, guys. Because <laughs> uh, honestly, those seats are only only gonna get cooler as time goes on. Um, let's see. She's pretty clean. This is Very just kind clean. of like a walk around, so you guys can see the the body of the car and everything like that. Um, this is a southern car, so she has zero rust, and these cars are pretty known for rust. So uh, that's that's a surprise. The only like cosmetic downflow that I realized is this, the the trim, the trim is missing here, but that's literally nothing at all. Um, something that I thought was really cool to tell you guys is this is literally the HR model of the Neon. Yes. Okay. So essentially, you got your 350Z, your DE, and you got your HR. Okay. <laughs> you got your Neon, and you got the HR Neon. <laughs> With the little, with the little yeah, hump. Yeah, with the hump. So essentially, if your neon has that little hump in the hood, it means that your dual overhead cam instead of single overhead cam. I'll go ahead and pop the hood, show you her uh, her race colors. Beautiful. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize this car is actually really underrated. Out of the factory, it actually makes 150 horsepower, and it only weighs around 2,400 pounds. So that's actually pretty amazing. So what I plan on doing with this car is me and my wife are gonna do a, sorry about all the traffic. This was like the only place I could park and actually have a little privacy. But me and my wife are gonna do a full all motor build with this car. So obviously, you know, intake, exhaust, tune, aftermarket cams, ported head, that type of thing. Um, I'm literally looking to make like 180, 200 horsepower and I'm, I'm happy in a car that weighs 2,400 pounds. That's that's not bad. Yes. So, um, how I feel about this car after driving it, I drove it like an hour home and it definitely exceeds my expectations. I thought this was gonna be like the slowest thing in the world, but it actually has enough like pickup to make me giggle. So <laughs> it's perfect. Um, it feels like a little Civic when it comes to shifting. It reminds me of all the Civics I used to have. But um, definitely stay tuned guys. Because uh, this is the new project that we're working on. I do want to show you guys the mileage. Because she is still a baby. Still a baby. Look at that. That's crazy, right? Here, I'll start it up for them. Put your foot down on the clutch. Please. Make sure she's in neutral. Mm -hmm. And start this bad boy up right here. She got a hammy. <laughs> Oh yeah, she runs nice and smooth, guys. Um, the service engine lights on because the guy said that it needs spark plugs. He said that it, this is literally his A to B car, and uh, he literally didn't do you know much maintenance to it besides oil changes. So he said that him and his wife would just take this to go get groceries, and uh, they had like ten other cars on their property. They had over forty something acres of land, so uh, I felt pretty happy buying this car from somebody who uh, at least had a little bit of money. We'll go ahead and shut her down. Let the bee sleep for a second. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, the next thing I plan on doing is coilovers and wheels. Obviously, um, we're doing full bolt-ons and a tune. And uh, I'll give my review and, um, you know, obviously install videos on um, most of the parts that I'm installing. So stay tuned, guys. Peace. Peace.